Hi guys, welcome back to Scentsy Fishing. I'm your host John. Today we're going to uh, talk about spinner baits, how I like to throw them, when I like to throw them, uh, some of the gear that I throw them on, and a couple other baits that I fish like a spinner bait or use in that type of application. Uh, first up is the Lunker Hunt. Um, it's got uh, a nice silicone skirt on it, got a little bit of that uh, tensile type material that's added to that skirt nice stout hook uh, great hook keeper on that bait uh, this one's in a bluegill pattern with a double um, silver willow leaf blade to it uh, this baits great for slow rolling um, and also burning it back in I've done a lot of great success with that bait slow rolling it uh, next up is the Terminator um, by the way, that other one was in, I believe, uh, a half ounce. This is in a quarter ounce. Uh, copper blades, uh, one uh, willow leaf, one Indiana blade. Um, can't show you the keeper on this one. It's just got a regular single keeper. I do have a trailer on the back. Nice stout hook. Um, this one um, allows me to fish it more finessey, so to say. Um, I like to... Uh, um, slow roll these but not deep slow roll uh, so what I'll do is I'll keep my rod tip up a little bit slow that retrieve down um, get a lot more strikes because I'm staying in the zone a lot more when you're bank fishing you're fishing parallel to the bank you're bringing it straight down that bank I fire this bad boy up in there because it is a little bit lighter it doesn't sink quite as fast and with me tilting that rod up I can slow roll that bait keep right in that strike zone um, and the bass are absolutely destroying it. Uh, next up is from Strike King. Uh, this one is in kind of the spring crawl, red crawl pattern. Does have a trailer hook on the back um, for some short strikes. I haven't thrown this particular one yet. Um, that's why the trailer hook is kind of all jacked up and out of the way. Um, but it's a simple move of that keeper and your trailer hooks in line. Uh, this one again is in a half ounce. Uh, great color for this time of the year. Crawfish are mainly orange, orange and brown. Um, a lot of crankbaits that I'm throwing on that red, orange, brown color are tearing them up. I wanted to get this one out today, uh, but the little pond that I'm fishing had a few people on it, so I didn't really stay. It is highly pressured. A lot of fishermen go in there. Um, there's some nice bass anywhere. Um, on a typical size or two to three pounders um, I have caught some four or five pounders out of there one of the baits that's helped me with that kind of getting different from what the other guys have is the Moloch spinner bait one of the great things about this not only does it have three separate arms three separate willow leaf blades kind of one bigger one in the middle good good sticky hook nice keeper on the back for a trailer but this one allows you to kind of give them that bait school the bait fish school presentation you're kind of imitating four different uh, bait fish swimming through the water these uh, hammered blades give off quite a bit of uh, flash uh, again this one you can slow roll it does have a nice sloped head to it um, so if you stop it it does kind of stand up right on the bottom um, you can slow roll that through it it kicks it it, it does what it's supposed to do just like almost any spinnerbait they're almost 100% weedless, uh, not quite, but they're they're weedless, guys. You can you can bring this back through some nasty cover, uh, bump it off a lay down brush and all that kind of stuff. And the spinnerbait usually deflects off of it, and keeps on going. Um, again, this is the uh, Moloch spinnerbait. I've had great luck with this, imitating more of that schooling bait uh, profile. Uh, along that line, it's not really a spinnerbait. Not really anything else. It's kind of in its own category. Swim bait, spinner bait, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've picked these up and really started getting into them. This is in the uh, half ounce size. This is the live target bait ball spinner rig. Again, guys, three blades, three baits. This one adds in that extra blade. So this one kind of gives you the fifth fish in the school versus just four fish in the school. Um, this one does incorporate actual small swim baits where the Molex doesn't. Um, I don't really know if it's that big of a difference. 
um, especially if you're burning a bait. If you're slow rolling it, definitely the, the uh, live target's going to work out a little bit better for you. It does have three dummies up top. Again, single willow leaf right there in the center. Nice, larger profile main bait, single hook. All these are, are dummy targets. Um, you can slow roll this. You can. I, I have burned it both ways catching fish. Uh, kind of the thing that I kind of look at this one, um, outside of it being fished like a spinnerbait, is being fished like an A-rig. Um, A-rig, you know, we all know those. You got one single uh, main head in the front with a bunch of arms coming off where we load up various, uh, usually swim baits on it, uh, depending on your locality, state, is how many hooks you can have here in Ohio we are allowed to I'm perfectly legal I just got the one um, one of the things that I'm trying to play around with on uh, on this is possibly switch it out uh, some of these swim baits um, and trying something a little bit different so far I haven't had any problems out of it so I like it it's got that nice foiled belly if you guys can see that real nice looking bait Real nice action on the water out of that little single boot tail. All of them have that kind of single paddle tail, boot tail, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one has absolutely destroyed quite a few fish. Maybe not this one in particular, but the bait ball spinner rig. I've, I've caught several fish already early season with it. We have had an unseasonably cold weather. We've also had a lot of rain. Um, so some of the areas that I like to fish down in the rivers on a main lake, again, I'm a bank fisherman, don't have a boat uh, currently, uh, so I'm fishing a lot of high pressured areas. This is something these, got, these fish haven't seen in my area, something that nobody else has thrown. I have yet to see anybody else throw it. I've thrown this up at uh, East Fork at the spillway. Um, surprisingly, I've caught a few nice big crappie on this, uh, small mouth, large mouth. Uh, I've, I've caught a few channel cats. Um, I did manage to catch a shovel head on that as well. Um, and then I've caught, in, in the other smaller ponds, uh, I've caught a lot of nice large mouth on that. Haven't noticed too much of that pecking where I feel like I'm being short striked or something's hitting more of the dummy. It all has been on that larger bait. Um, great hooks, real sticky sharp. Um, I've been very impressed with the... Uh, live target bait ball spinner rig they do sell the replacement bodies now for them in my area locally versus having to go online and order them um, great great bait for your arsenal guys you can just simply fire that bad boy up in there burn that thing back like a spinner bait again you could chuck that bait up in there fire it up in along along the bank slow roll that you'll get those little paddle tails just going um, and it drives those bass insane uh, some of the gear that I'm throwing these baits on, uh, some people around here are telling me it's a little bit of overkill. I like it myself. Um, I'm using uh, kind of an all-purpose rod when I'm walking around a bank. Uh, something that's pretty tippy. Um, it's, I think it's a medium rod. Um, throwing up a 65-pound braid um, on a Shimano Corrado, uh, one of the old CU200s. 5-1 gear ratio. Um, I like that braid because I like having that sensitivity. There's a lot of litter in the ponds and stuff that I've been fishing. So when I have that uh, braid and I'm bringing something like this along or the bait ball spinner rig, I can tell if this bait is running true, running the way I want it to, or when it is picking up a small stick um, or fouling out on some leaves or whatever, I can feel that great sensitivity. Plus a couple of the ponds that I have fishing have a straight down embankment. Um, I gotta pull these fish up uh, in some places two foot just to get them out of the water onto the bank to even be able to, I, I can't reach down and lip them. Uh, just no way possible. So that braid gives me a little bit more confidence <coughs> um, that I'm gonna be able to bring that fish up. Um, I haven't noticed any drawbacks to it. I've been fishing a lot of my square bills on that braid as well for the same reason. Uh, where I can get that extra leverage, bring this fish up. Have not found anything uh, on a negative downside fishing the braid with the uh, square bills. Um, I'll, I've got a, a real soft tip rod, um, so when a, when a fish are grabbing that um, crankbait, they're able to suck it in, and the tip's going to give a little bit and come into them. 
and then once I get them pinned, it's got enough backbone and enough of that parabolic bend in it that uh, I'm not losing the fish. Same thing on these uh, on spinner baits, guys. A lot of people tell me with that soft tip, I'm not going to be able to keep those bass pinned. I've never had a problem with that. Um, medium, medium heavy rods, about all I've ever thrown them on. Um, when I used to go out a lot with my dad on his boat, we'd fish some places where it was a lot of heavy cover. I did use almost strictly a medium heavy to a heavy rod, depending on how nasty that junk is. Um, and you still drive that hook home. Um, to me, it hasn't been that big of a difference. Um, you may experience something different. I haven't. Uh, spinner baits this time of the year are great. Um, especially when you're getting into something like this in a high pressured area. They, they may have never seen this. You are resembling uh, a four fish school. Um, my, these bass in my area have absolutely smashed it. They're, they, they love this bait. Again, guys, just a quick run through on spinner baits. Um, thanks for watching. Good luck to you out there on the water.